about the insulation and the exploded insulation which we have here. So the end result looks like this. I have uh, separate insulation pieces which have ID. All similar pieces have same ID and uh, the different ones uh, will have of course uh, their own IDs. And the insulation is uh, listed here in the cut list. If I edit the automatically updating insulation, um, arc frame will revert it uh, to the default uh, rules. So to enable manual editing, I need to open the related element object and open its settings. Set this update from 1 to 0. And now I can edit this board. The ID uh, is anchored from the mid middle of the board, so I need to take it here. And it has uh, the same ID, so when I update, um, I should see one more line in the cut list. So it is number six, and it is listed here. And uh, to enable automatic editing back, I'll open the element object again and its settings and set the automatic updating to 1 and like an arc frame typically you need to click update button here to uh, get this uh, elevation updated and this is one exception that happens the insulation is updated also in the 3D model when you click update if you have the automatic update on so again, uh, we have uh, one less line in the cut list. Then, how to get the insulation cut list and the insulation at the first place to your own element types. Uh, they are here in your own element types definition and the cut list, uh, so this insulation cut list, it is here at the end of uh, the settings. So, set this value into create cut list uh, to one and you will get the cut list. And how to get exploded insulation? It is in the layer, in this framing layer. Uh, we have the insulation settings here at the end. So firstly uh, it has to be created and then let's see uh, here is insulation explode. A new parameter if you if you leave this as it is, it will be zero, so no exploding. And by editing this value to one, you will get uh, the insulation exploded and get all the results we can see here.